So I heard there's a lawsuit involving AMC <clears throat> and West Christian. Now I wanted to make this video because this is very important. This is not just about AMC. This is about AMC and GameStop just like it's always been. Now I have been out of the loop for a day so if I'm wrong on that uh, first standpoint then forgive me because I've only heard uh, AMC mentioned in this. So this is for West Christian. Um, IJR and XJR are highly manipulated ETFs that are in or that have exposure to GameStop. Now one of them is the iShares Core S&P small cap ETF, which does not apply to GameStop first of all because it's not a small cap company. And then you have the XJR, which I'm gonna show you in a second, has absolutely nothing to do with GameStop exposure based on its own definition from BlackRock. By the way, look at that daily volume, 11.4 million. Strange, huh? So basically this is the I, uh, IXJ breakdown. So basically they screen for controversial weapons, small arms, tobacco, oil sands and shale energy, thermal coal, fossil fuel reserves. Now, only one of these could apply to GameStop being it's a controversial weapon in their opinion, I would I guess, because uh, MOAS could be a controversial weapon to them. But hey, you know, if you take the jokes aside, nothing to do with GameStop. So other than XTSLA, your number one exposure is to GME. False advertising, huh? So back to the ETFs, let's talk about XJR. So why did they uh, you know, choose to gain some exposure from GameStop through XJR? Well, based on their own definition, they seek to eliminate exposure to certain controversial business areas while assessing small cap US stocks. Well again, GameStop's not small cap, so what are you doing? Investment objective is to track the investment results of an index comprised of small capitalization US equities while applying screens for company involvement in controversies and controversial business activities. Well, GameStop's been doing nothing but, uh, you know, rebuilding themselves, rebranding themselves for the past six months, so, yeah. Here's some blatant volume manipulation around IJR. So if you look on the left-hand side, this is from 713 at 1256 Eastern Time. We have a volume candle of 150,835. Now, I don't know about you, but that seems a little bit absurd to me on a one-minute candle. Then, even stranger... If you look on 7.12 at 12.22 p.m. Eastern, yeah, 8 million volume on the one minute candle. So that deserves some explanation. And uh, before they cry glitch, you can easily access this data and look that this happens multiple times per day. So let's talk about the XTSLA fund that's inserted itself into both IJR and IXJ or IJR. So you can tell by these pictures because I guess they never would have thought someone would have done this, but I kept track of this. On the 9th, we had 911,590,000 market value for XTSLA. Then, on the 12th, we have 891,020. Then, on the 14th, we have 842,640. So, why is it going down with GameStop? It's clear that they're using this fund as a method to cheaply short GameStop because guess why? That's right, they only pay a dollar per asset because it's a treasury fund. Why is it exposed to GameStop? Both of IJR and IJX are both exposed to GameStop and uh, by the way, IJR's number one exposure if you took out this stupid fund would be GameStop. So that deserves some explanation and this is just the beginning. We have proof of volume manipulation, proof of outflow inflow manipulation, proof of ADF facility manipulation, proof of BlackRock using Treasury Fund for pricing manipulation, proof of integrated effort from Jane Street, Citadel, JP Morgan, Bank of America, and many others with puts on IWN, the AMC ETF. Millions and millions and millions of puts all at the same price. This is happening through IJR, IWM, and affects GameStop and AMC. It's about time we do something about this. And if Wes, if you're really standing up to help us out, that's awesome because someone needs to.